the concept of a race is so simple. You have a starting point and you have a finishing point and whoever gets there first wins. Well, the cool thing about a race concept is it can apply to a lot of the mechanics in the swing. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys this really cool race that we can have between our hands and the bat that'll help us get a much better release and a much better understanding of how we actually wanna deliver the bat to the ball. Let's go ahead and get started. Now guys, we got a lot of great content coming out this year. And if you don't wanna miss out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's the only way you can get notified when we come out with new content. And make sure you hit that like button. That really helps us grow the channel. And if you guys have any questions or comments, We'd love to hear from you. Leave them in the comment section below. So you guys hear me talk about the release in a lot of videos because it's utterly important. It's literally the only thing we have to have to be a great hitter is if we have a good understanding of how to get the bat to the ball. We could even spread our legs out, have no weight shift, do nothing with our lower body and still be able to hit the ball solid and good if we have a good release. But one of the biggest problems that I see with the release is it's so delayed. If we understand that the swing just is a blink in time and space, it's so fast that we can start to understand that maybe we need to see it a little bit differently when we're talking about practicing. So the big mistake that I see is when players get into transition, so this would be the bat lag position like we talk about in the pro speed hitting system, is we don't let go of this transition. The, bat, the hands just kind of drag the bat through, so the bat's just kind of following the hands, and then after the, the bat has followed the hands for a long ways, and keep in mind this is happening in a blink, then the bat tries to come around. So if we want bat speed, and I actually just had a lesson in here, and I asked the, I asked the guy if, uh, you know, if we want to have bat speed, what needs to move fast? Well, the answer is really simple. The bat needs to move fast if we want to have bat speed. If we move our hands fast, but the bat's not moving, we technically don't have any bat speed. So I can take my hands and move them real fast, but the bat hasn't moved at all. So it's very important to understand that we need to get this bat moving very quickly in the swing if we want the RPMs and the speed to get ramped up in the bat. So essentially what we want to do is instead of dragging the bat, we want to make sure that we are releasing the bat. So I'm actually putting speed into the barrel of the bat by releasing the bat. So the way we can use a race to, to visualize the release and, and help out has helped out a ton of players like this is we can imagine there's a race between the hands that are at the bottom of the bat and the tip of the bat or the barrel of the bat. Very, very simple. So what we do to visualize this is simply we imagine that there's a wall just on the outside of our foot. So we like to use lines to make sure that we have very clear visuals on what we're trying to do. If there's a wall drawn up right on the outside of my foot, straight up out of the ground, this is our finish line. The starting point is that when we get into our load stride position. So when I load stride, then I'll draw my line. I have my line. What we wanna do is instead of letting the hands drag the bat to that wall where the hands would win the race, I actually want my barrel to win the race. Now, when we're doing this at full speed, it's actually very, very difficult on a down the middle pitch, if not impossible for the barrel to actually get there first. But the visual in our mind is, hey, I need the barrel to get to the, to the ball first, not my hands. Because if my hands get there first and now the barrel comes, I have lost out on all this room back here that I could be building up barrel speed into impact. So I am trying to get the barrel to get to the, to the, the wall first and let my hands get there second. But they're both going to start at the same time, just the barrel wants to get there before the other one. So if I can make some swings, I'll make a slower swing really to, to over-exaggerate this visualization is I want my barrel to get to that wall first. It's very difficult to do, but again, this is more of a visualization where we can use a race to make it very simple as to what our goal is. So in my mind, I'm trying to get my barrel to this wall before my hands. So if I get into my load stride position, okay, so even if we play that back, even if my hands got there a little bit sooner, which they are going to, because there's so much stress and weight putting put on the bat when we make our swing that it's gonna be near impossible. But again, the visualization is going to help you sync up your swing so much better and it's gonna start helping you put more speed into the ball. I'll show you what that looks like here from down the line. Again, it's really good to train anything from the load stride position, and I'm letting this barrel beat the hands to the ball. <sighs> okay, guys, and if you do this, and again, you can see these balls can still be hit up the middle of the field. This isn't a cast by any means. We know from the pro speed hitting system, if we get into a good transition, it is physically impossible to cast the bat. Guys, 
have some fun, put some speed in the bat, get that barrel to beat the hands, and you know, try to beat the hands every single time, and you'll start to see an increase in bat speed, and also it's a lot easier to hit the ball because we're not trying to drag something and then flick it. We're going to have one powerful blow into impact. And now if you can take this same concept into other parts of the swing, such as getting our weight shifting into, into the speed and getting the barrel to beat the, the, the hands to impact, now we've got two things cooking that are picking up speed and everything's going to be firing on time in the right spots. I got a great bonus for you. I'm going to play one of our best premium videos that help show you how to do that by clicking on the iCard or the link in the description below. You can get instant access to it and it'll show you how to get some weight shift into the impact. And if you can couple getting the barrel and the, the barrel to beat the hands to that line and this, you're going to have two things cooking in the way that's going to help you get more speed where it counts at impact. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna now start showing how our weight shift is involved with the release of the bat. We just simply need to understand exactly where we wanna be in our weight shift. So we're gonna get a lot more specific. We're gonna be talking about the timing of getting the back pocket in front of the tee at the same time we're hitting the ball. But the first thing we need to do, guys, is we need to rep this out and make sure that we can definitely get the weight transfer that we need. So we're gonna put our arms across our chest. We're gonna get at least 100 repetitions 